Hello, this is Verity and welcome to your video training and on this video we are looking at contacts. Now this video has come about because a lot of people do ask us about contacts, where to add them, how to work with them, so we just thought we'd do a quick video just to show you how those work. What we're going to cover over this video then is we're going to think about understanding contacts first of all, adding a contact is next and finishing up with working with your contacts. So understanding contacts is first, so we'll look at the contact grid and then the contact form. So in Expert Agent, hovering over contacts in the top menu and selecting grid. So it is a standard grid with the dynamic information panel at the top, the main body of the grid below showing you 10 records to a page and the action menu available from the right click of the mouse also the whitelist icon over on the right hand side showing you the relevant workflows associated with the contact grid. Clicking into one of these contacts opens up the contact form. It's a standard form with the information panel at the top, the main body of the form below with all of these relevant tabs and again the action menu available from the right click of the mouse also the whitelist icon over on the right hand side showing you all of the relevant workflows associated with the contact form. It's quite a simple this form this one we've got the details tab which has got all of the contact details for this content and the financial form which will add in your financial details for this particular contact. Next you've got a maintenance form, this will be any maintenance jobs that you have logged in the system that this contact is a part of will be sitting on this contact form and any quotes that you've received from them will be sitting here as well. The statement tab is available for you if you are using Lettings Financials and those are the statements for this contact and then the events tab is the last one. Now everything we do in Expert Agent is recorded and saved onto the events tab with a date and a timestamp for compliancy reasons. So let's think about next then adding a contact. So the different methods of adding contacts into the system and then adding a contact using the contact drop down menu. You can add a contact from many different places within Expert Agent. The main one is the contact grid. You can right click and select new contact from a diary option from various different places within the property form. You can add a contact from configuration. You can add a contact from the contacts grid, uh, from the contacts drop down. Anywhere you see this icon, anywhere within Expert Agent, you can add a contact in. Clicking on that though will open up the new contact wizard. When adding in a contact at this point you only get the first two tabs, the details and the financial. Once you've added them in you will get the maintenance tab, the events tab and if you're using Lettings Financials you will get the statements tab as well. So I'm just going to add in a title, forename and surname. Tabbing into the salutation field is going to choose that option or I choose the option from the drop down menu and then I give him a title, a job title. Just going to do a postcode lookup for the address details here. And then a company name if I need it. Adding in mobile number, email address. web link if they have one, work phone number, DX number if you need it, fax number if they have one, and the contact type. Now those contact types will be set by your boss or your super user in the tools and configuration menu um, at the top there will be set for the contact type. All right, so you, if you need any more, you need to ask your boss or your super user to do that. So we're just gonna select heating services from there. any notes there and moving on to the financial tab. So I'm going to add in an account number, a sort code and use my bank account lookup to look up the bank account. 
verify with me that it is, it is a valid bank account and place the information in the boxes below. If you don't want to use that at that point, at this point, you can just type them in manually. And then do a look up for your bank address. And at this point then, I'm just going to either press the save button there or right click and save and that will create my new contact form. And we've now successfully added in a contact into the contact grid. So let's have a think then about working with our contacts. So using the contact grid and the various places that you can assign contacts in the system. So now we've added that contact into the system, we now have the financial the maintenance the statement and the events tab as well so all of the tabs for this contact and from the maintenance tab I can actually add this contact to maintenance jobs I can also start adding them to maintenance jobs from a property from a tenancy from an applicant I can start adding to them to a diary appointments and using them that way I can start charging them things as well from the maintenance job forms there is the option once you've chosen a contact as the contractor the option to then invoice the contractor as well if you're using Lettings Financials but you can add your maintenance jobs from the contact. Clicking onto the contact grid because it is a standard grid I can do all sorts of standard filtering choices within this grid. So I've also got the option to choose columns So I'm going to select the type and I'm going to move that one up just to show you and press save. And in the type we can filter on heating services and there is our contact Frank that we just added in. So as it is a standard grid, we can do all sorts of filtering on this grid, reporting, searching and finding. And as I said, because you have added in them into the system, you can add them to all sorts of various things throughout the system and be able to invoice them as well. So your contact grid and your contacts are really useful to use within Expert Agent. So please make sure that you do have a think about adding your contacts in. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video training session. I really do hope you found it beneficial.